Hello, everybody. It's Monday, May 14th. And that means it's also Spooky Tales Monday. Uh, let's see, what have I done today? Well, I took my laptop in and uh, they are now going to replace the motherboard on it. And you'd think all the amount of work that they've done on it, they would have just given me my money back. But now with the new motherboard, I should be getting it, they claim, Saturday. But, I don't know. <clears throat> they've been trying to put that off for a while because uh, they didn't want to have to replace that motherboard and uh, that bitch can raise hell because I've owned the thing for two months and have spent less than an hour on it the whole two months I've had it and have spent more time in the shop than at my house but we'll see come Saturday if I have my laptop or if I have to wait another week or so but soon I shall have it in other news let's see what else have I done today took out the trash and then I went over to my mom's and uh, took out some trash from her place and did some stuff over there picked up a bowl of homemade chili she made yesterday so I'll be having some homemade chili tonight and uh, when I was over there, I noticed this little squirrel on the deck that's right in front of her uh, apartment. And he's laying there on the railing. So I came home, got my camera, and went back, took some nice little snapshots of him. So cute little thing. Just sit, laying there on the deck. It's, you'll see. I'll post, post them tomorrow on my uh, Yahoo 360 page. And let's see, what else have I been doing? A lot of stuff, really. But, uh, more to come. And it being Monday and Spooky Tales Monday. <laughs> uh, let's see. It is Monday and Spooky Tales Monday. This week's spooky tales is from the great state of South Carolina. And we start off with the Aiken, South Carolina, the Grantville Cemetery. There has been reported sightings of a witch ghost late at night who walks through the cemetery putting flowers on little kids' graves. Also, there has been reports of screams coming on the back of the cemetery where unmarked graves are. And if you walk through and step on one of the graves, the spirit of the person you step on will grab your feet. Everything from gunshots to screams and laughter can be heard on the full moon, full moon night. Mm -hmm. Then we go to Anderson, South Carolina, Cobb's Way. A ghostly figure with a white mask believed to be a killer that slaughtered in the 1500s. I don't think that date is correct because nobody lived in South Carolina in the 1500s except for Indians. I don't think they, they would wear a mask to kill their own. <clears throat> Maybe war paint. Yeah, we'll move on to Blacksburg, South Carolina. Cherokee Falls Bridge. Booba Jim lives under the bridge. He died on the bridge in 1979 when he was hung over the side of the bridge with jumper cables by his crazy wife Becca at around 9 p.m. If he calls his name three times, he will answer, but you can't make it out because his throat was crushed from the hanging. Some people have even reported seeing him with a large burn on his throat from the cables. Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he just lives under the bridge. <clears throat> Let's see, what else we get? Charleston, South Carolina. I've been there a few times. Not to this particular area, but 
had to drive some Humvees down there for uh, something or another. White Point Gardens, the battery. Spirits of the pirates that were hung there have been seen walking the park in search of their executioners. <laughs> Then we move to Clinton, South Carolina, not related to the president, I hope, but Lydia Mill. There is a ghost of a headless woman that haunts Lydia Mill and the area surrounding it. She has been seen roaming around the railroad tracks behind the mill and sometimes in the mill itself. Hmm. And then we go to Gaffney, South Carolina. A couple from Gaffney up here I got. Blast Cemetery. During clear nights, about at midnight, you can hear gunshots and cannons going off. You can't see it, but you can hear it. Look back out in a few minutes and there will be people fighting and screaming. If you talk, jump, or run, there will be people with red eyes, bloody teeth, and the voice says, You are a killer. You must die. There have been many sightings of this encounter. Many have been severely injured, some have never dis however have disappeared. Do not stop near this place, there will be severe consequences. Hmm. Maybe I should go hang out there. I love severe consequences. <laughs> and now again in Gaffney, the Chain Gang Road. When you go down on the old Chain Road, you can hear voices of girls moaning and screaming. These girls were the victims of the Gaffney Strangler. Didn't know Gaffney was big enough to have their own strangler, but they are. <laughs> and now in Cherokee Falls, Gaffney. Down in Cherokee Falls near Blacksburg, ah, there is a thing no one knows what he is, but everyone who has seen him calls him Booger Jim. Again with the Booger Jim. He will haunt you if you go down into Cherokee Falls on the side of the road. He is half man, half cow. Not only that, but he was hung with jumper cables. So beware of Booger Jim. <laughs> and Leon Leroy's Bridge in Gaffney. In the 60s, a serial killer named Leroy Martin murdered several women in the Gaffney, South Carolina. Dubbed the Gaffney Strangler, Leroy dumped the bodies of his victims in various locations around the country, county. One of these sites is a bridge just off Highway 329 in Gaffney, the place where the first body was found in a shallow creek under the bridge. It is said that if you walk across the bridge at night, you can hear the sounds of a girl moaning in pain and begging for help. <laughs> And that's your spooky tales for this Monday. And if you're in and around the Gaffney area, beware of old Booger Jim. He is out there. For the rest of you, have a spooky night. <laughs>